Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which count GFG subsequence in a given string. First, let us understand the problem statement. Given a string of length n and of capital letters, the task is to find the count of GFG subsequence in the given string. Next, let us see the approach. To find the number of GFG subsequence in the given string, observe for each f if we know the number of g before and after it. Then the number of GFG subsequence for that f is equal to the product of number of g before and after that f. So the idea is to maintain an array where array of i store number of g before index i if ith index of the string is f and number f before index i if the ith string is g. Also, we will calculate and store the number of gfg subsequence in result whenever we encounter g. Next, let us see the algorithm. We take a sample string gfg fg and store its length in integer n. Then, we pass the string an integer n to count subsequence function. Now in the count subsequence function, we take an array initialized to null and three integers cnt g, cnt f and result all initialized to zero. Then we iterate over the string from i to n. So first i will be zero. s at i is g and we switch s of i. So the case g gets satisfied. Now we set array at i equal to c and t f that is 0. Then we add array at 0 to result. So result remains same and we increment c and t g plus plus. Next we break and continue with the next iteration. So i becomes 1 and s of i is capital F. The second case that is f gets satisfied and we set array at 1 equal to c and t g that is 1. Then we add array at i to c and t f. So c and t f will be 1. We continue iteration in the for loop and now i becomes 2 and s of i is g. s of i is g. So the first case gets satisfied and we set array at 2 to c and t f. Then we add array at i to result. So result will be 1 and we increment c and t g plus plus. Next we break and continue with the iteration. So i becomes 3 and s of i is f. The second case gets satisfied and we make array at i equal to c and t g. Then we add array at i to c and t f. So c and t f will become 3. We break and continue iteration in the for loop. So i becomes 4 and s of i is g. The case g gets satisfied and we set array of i to c and t f and add array of i to result. We increment c and t g and break. Now we have traversed the entire string so we break out of the for loop and print result that is 4 and this is our final answer. With this we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.